Hello, welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making breathe bars and I'm calling them breathe bars because I'm using a combination of eucalyptus, spearmint and peppermint essential oils. So it's gonna just mm, smell really good. And uh, I'm using some luxury oils like cocoa butter and shea butter and my lye solution is made with aloe vera juice today. So I'm gonna gather all my ingredients together, get my safety gear on and my apron, and uh, let's come back and make some soap. All right, welcome back. And uh, we're ready to roll here. What I've got are my hard oils melted and cooled and my liquid oils in here. And um, I did put in some organic colloidal oats already in the oils and I blended it in to disperse it because I want that in all the bars. What I have here is my aloe vera juice and lye solution. It does have Tussa silk fibers and a little sodium lactate in it. And then what I have going here is my half of my essential oils and the French green clay in there absorbing and half of my essential oil blend and the white kaolin clay in here. And we're gonna split this batch in half after we get the um, lye solution incorporated in here. So what I'm going to do is pull this out and I am going to um, hand mix this just to begin so that we have control over trace and uh, we'll take it from there and see if we want to bring the stick blend or not, you know, back in or not. So, and I'm using this big pot because uh, that's what fit my size batch. Sorry, it's not clear, so you can't see all the way down, but we're gonna split it off into clear buckets. All right, so here comes the aloe vera juice, lye solution. I love using aloe juice. Um, it's just so wonderful on your skin, and I think it adds a nice, just something special to the soap. So I like to use it. big whisk out and I'm just going to start blending this around polypropylene pitchers here and I'm going to try to split this off as evenly as I can and it's nice because it has the measurements on the side so I can kind of watch what I'm doing as I'm pouring. So I'm going to go ahead and split this as best I can. sides here so this is at two all right we'll go a little more here and this one needs a little more okay there we go Sorry, <laughs> I didn't look up at the camera. It's probably this big old container's blocking the view. There we go. So we have just about two and a half liters here and two and a half liters there. And now we'll go ahead and start incorporating our wonderful essential oil clays blend. So I'm going to do the French green clay in here. And this is about a tablespoon of clay in uh, several ounces of um, essential oil. And then I did pour off a little bit of the liquid oils in here just to um, make it a little more liquidy. And now one here 
here's our kale and clay with our essential oils. And it has a little bit of chunks, which I'm not happy about, but that's all right. We'll probably get to stick blend this. We will see. back and forth and pour a nice layer here of the green and then we'll come in and do the white. It's pretty liquidy. I might not even need to uh, do the hanger in here because that is looking swirly as all can be. There we go. mold is so full I'm gonna go ahead and make little flowers here I have no idea how far we'll get but I brought out two pans just in case let's see I'm gonna try and pour evenly for a little half and half on each of these Right, we're back the next morning with our eucalyptus and mint combination. Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> if you have a stuffy nose, this would do you right. So let's get this out of the mold and see what we've got. See how those swirls came out. Swirls are looking very mild, and let's see how they come out.
All right, we're going to unmold our little um, extra batter flowers here. See how these little guys turned out? Oh, popped right out. They're so cute. <laughs> 